Hi, my name is Susanna Mills, and I am the Editor-in-Chief of The American Philatelist. This is the September issue, and uh, this month we set ourselves the challenge of putting two themes into one single issue. So uh, one part of the issue is about stamp design and stamp designers, which was really exciting because not only did we get to go into um, the past and meet a stamp designer, Pierre Gandon, who uh, was extremely prolific and well known in France for his uh, hand engraved stamps, but we also got to come into the present. We met Martin Mork, who is currently the most prolific uh, stamp designer and engraver living. We also got to meet Ethel Kessler. She's an art director who works with the USPS, and she's been responsible for uh, more than 500 stamp issues in the US. And we got to speak to Jersey Post, uh, and they are a very, very small country. I'd say they're, um, what is it, you know, eight by nine kilometers miles, I'm not sure, uh, but a very, very small island, uh, but they have a outsized uh, stamp issuing program, so they do some really impressive work, and so we spoke to them. So it was exciting to get to go into the stamp design world, kind of figure out from the masters what it takes to make this work, and find out about the process in some cases. Then the other half of the issue is about auctions. We like to come back to auctions every so often because we found uh, that readers have told us that they find them um, maybe a little, they find themselves a little bit nervous getting into them. They're not quite sure where to start. Uh, maybe they think that auctions are, you know, just for real experts, uh, really experienced buyers to use, but actually auctions can be for everyone, and there are a lot of people out there who are trying to make them more approachable and accessible, uh, so this is basically our way of saying um, there's no need to be afraid, auctions can be for you as well. So this cover came about because we wanted to capture capture this process of stamp design and we love going with photography so what we decided to do was ask a stamp designer can you send us a photo of your studio and so we reached out actually not to any of the designers who appeared in this issue um, but we reached out to Tom Fritz. Tom Fritz designed the pony car stamps that were issued last year at Great American Stamp Show in Sacramento uh, at that time, we did this great interview with him where he described his process in a ton of detail, and so he, we knew that he'd be really open to uh, showing us behind the scenes of his studio. So he sent us this photo of his studio. We put that together with, um, we put that together with elements from the actual issue. Uh, the stamp on front is one designed by Martin Wark. Um, well, this one is really easy, although obviously there were a lot of articles I enjoyed a lot, but the highlight was the article about Martin Mork. Uh, this was written by Armand Osdink, um, and one of the reasons this was my favorite was because, you know, I was writing my editor's note and I was saying, you know, by the time, by the time you read this, will have already been to the Great American Stamp Show and I'll have gotten the chance to meet Martin Mark. And then, actually we were on the show floor and I was doing the final edits of the issue. We are getting ready to sh send it off to the printer. That's just how the timing worked out. And um, Martin Mark walked up and I said, well look, this is the issue that's about to go out. And he got to look over my shoulder and, you know, see the design that we put together for the article which was just a really cool moment, uh, not only the fact that we got to meet, but also to um, show him in person. The article itself is really cool on its own merits, besides meeting Martin at the show. Um, 
my favorite part about this is that we had pictures of him actually doing the hand engraving uh, so we had like a step-by-step -step process like first he does this second he does this and we had photos to accompany all of those which I really appreciate because sometimes if you see a complicated process just written out it's hard to picture uh, so we actually got to picture it in this issue uh, so really it's focused around two different articles uh, the first one is a interview with Tom Drogi. He's the founder of Stamp Auction Network, which is this, uh, which is this website where auction houses can uh, conduct the online parts of their auction right there. Um, so all of the, I believe, all of the auction houses in North America uh, use Stamp Auction Network. It's basically a one-stop shop. Uh, for people who are looking to, um, it's basically a one-stop shop for people who are looking to bid online uh, live at auction. In addition to putting Stamp Auction Network together, uh, Tom has made a lot of different improvements over the years that address the different needs of people who use auctions, the customer base, uh, that's, you know, provenance, uh, being able to access all the information about uh, what stamps have been sold before and where and for how much uh, that allow you to be a more informed customer. So we virtually sat down with him and asked him a bunch of questions. Uh, and so I'm excited for you to see the result and hopefully start a conversation about uh, online auctions, what the future of this looks like. Um, the other article is by uh, the other article is our marketplace column by Matt Leibson. He takes the the route of explaining for beginners or people who are just getting started with auctions what exactly they need to know, what they need to look out for, basically empowering them to feel comfortable using auctions as a buyer. Basically empowering them to feel comfortable using auctions as a buyer. So we all just got back from Great American Stamp Show and I just want to say it was an amazing trip. I got to meet so many of you and hear your feedback in person. It's just my favorite thing to do um, and really have a back and forth over you know what's working, what's not working. And so as a follow-up I just want to let you know that if you have any kind of feedback about the magazine, uh, please reach out letters to the please reach out letters to the editor .com. Nope. Letters to the editor .org is how you can reach us to send letters. Um, also, we're moving into um, planning for the new year. We're going to be working out what our editorial themed schedules are for 2024. So if you have any anything that you'd like us to consider, we'd be happy, more than happy, to receive that kind of comment. In October, we're going to be doing a recap of the show. So those of you who weren't able to make it will see what you missed out on. Uh, also, October is really exciting. This is a sneak, sneak peek for October. Uh, October is quite exciting to me because we're going to be talking about this world of organized philately, uh, our community, and uh, what's the future of our community, uh, what kind of innovations are people doing, whether that's shows, clubs, um, how, are we, how are we becoming more digital, how are we continuing to grow. Uh, so that's what the October issue is going to be about. I'm so excited to bring it to you. And finally, I know that a lot of you have probably already seen Scott English's message uh, to the APS. This came out, um, it was a newsletter a couple of weeks ago by the time this airs. Uh, that announces a new digital magazine that will be coming out in the new year. This is a project that we are so excited to be working on. 
and I can't wait to tell you all more about it.